really when he was shoving his thumbs into my eye sockets that I, I really thought that I was going to die. A North Royalton man convicted of brutally attacking and injuring a police officer in 2019 could be a free man in the coming days after serving only nine months behind bars. A Cuyahoga County judge granted John Pugnia his release this week despite years left in a sentence. The officer who survived the violent attack tells News 5's Emily Hamilton how it's changed her life. She shared her frustration saying, she was never told her attacker would be released. Now, we want to warn you here, some of the images in this story, they are disturbing. North Royalton police officer Alexander Bell says the violent attack often plays on mental repeat a year and a half later. I remember like it was yesterday. That was by far the worst and scariest moment of my life. Officer Bell, who did not want to be interviewed on camera, says she tried to carry out a routine traffic stop outside John Pugnia's home on Lynn Drive after both he and his vehicle matched the description of a person and a car involved in a road rage incident earlier that day. As I got closer to him, I could could immediately tell that he was intoxicated and he was argumentative with me. The incident turned violent quickly with Pugnia shoving Officer Bell to the ground, repeatedly punching her in the face and head and attempting to gouge her eyes out. Injuries that sent the officer to the hospital. He looked at me dead in the eyes and said, I'm going to kill you. My daughter, you know, she was four years old. That was the only thing that I could think of. So after being sentenced to four years behind bars for menacing and felonious assault, why was Pugnia granted a release by Judge Daniel Gall less than a year into his sentence? I had not been notified that there was a hearing. I, I, I knew nothing about it at all. As far as I knew, he was, you know, just sitting in, in, in prison. News 5 attempted to speak with Judge Gall about why he granted the release multiple times Friday, but we have yet to hear back. The Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office, however, filed a motion for reconsideration and sent us a statement that reads, in part, this convicted felon brutally beat a police officer by punching her in the head multiple times and tried to gouge her eyes out while threatening to kill her. He should serve his entire sentence and not a day less. Pug Mia will remain behind bars until that hearing, at which time Officer Bell says she hopes the judge will hear her out and change his mind. That's the first part that's that's disappointing to me is how easily the victims were disregarded in this particular case. My main goal is to try and get the judge to change his mind. I, I would like to know why he made the decision that he made. Emily Hamilton, News 5.